Aloha, and welcome to the Mangaloa Project, which started five years ago, and the it was my attempt to improve Hawaii's mango industry, and that was by incorporating uh, and demonstrating high density orchard management techniques, specifically the ultra high density plantation technique and the open tatura trellis system coming out of Australia. And like I said, it's in the fifth and final year now, it was two phases of this project. The first phase, the focus was on the installation of, of these uh, orchard styles and uh, and the first three years of, of growth in the orchard. And then the second part of the, the Mangaloa project was a continuation of, of observation of the orchard in the fourth and fifth year, which would include production. And it also had a, another area that was focused on post harvest, uh, things we can do to improve the, the quality of the fruit. So for, for this project, it was putting nets over the mango trees to see if that would, uh, help keep some of the pests off like fruit flies as well as birds and uh and then there was also a component of adding a cold storage unit using a kubot uh thermostat and uh and other requirements uh, like uh, preventing sap burn um and so that's the focus this year on the project but as far as the orchard goes uh it was basically a comparison between the the current method of growing mangoes which is uh you know 50 to 70 trees per acre uh to the ultra high density plantation technique which was as high as 670 uh trees per acre but for this project i i was at about 400 uh trees per acre 450 trees per acre and then uh the open tutorial trellis system which is which is like it says a v trellis system where it's more compact so you can get more trees on a smaller area of land so on this one i would say the density was more around 650 uh plus because of how how compact the trees are um so i thought i was done making videos on the orchard and its comparison but i thought because it's the last year that i'd make one more to just talk about uh, what i liked about the system and what uh, I didn't like and where I am today. So I just wanted to put my face on the video because I rarely do. And uh, thank you guys for following me. Uh, those of you who have paid attention all these years. And uh, so I just wanted to say aloha and walk through one more time with the ultra high density. I'll probably do another video of the open tatura trellises as well. But this time we're focusing on the ultra high density. So let's go for a walk. So we are in uh, December. We are, this is December 24th. And the trees have been flowering for a couple of weeks now. We had the first flowering after pruning uh, in October, and which was really early. But uh, it was a small flowering of the raposas and the namdak mayas. Uh, this is a raposa right in front of us. This flowering is a lot bigger than the first flowering, but all the other trees are flowering as well. No but. So... What I have here is 300 trees on a little, or th 310 trees on a little over a half acre, so 0.7 acres. Uh, that is a density of about 450 um, trees per, per acre. And so there's a eight foot between trees, the spacing, and 10 foot between the rows. Uh, and there's 10 rows of them. So, First of all, when it comes to high density, I really believe that this is the way we have to move forward, especially in Hawaii where uh, we have all kinds of different pests that we have to manage within the orchard. And the big tall trees just make it uh, difficult. It makes it expensive. It makes observation of the canopy difficult, right? And so <clears throat> I do believe shorter trees is where we should be going just for management purposes. And so... Uh, 
These trees are kind of maintained at 8 feet to 10 feet. I would prefer them at 8 feet, but sometimes they get away from me and then get up to 10 feet where I think they're going to flower. So I, so maybe I don't prune as much and then it doesn't flower and then you just, the tree just gets too much bigger and then you have to correct them over time. So I like the short trees and that is the main uh, benefit, not the main benefit, but a very big benefit of doing the high density is that you have overall lower trees, which makes the observation of the canopy better. It makes application of any kind of chemicals easier. It makes just overall canopy management more efficient. So in that, that aspect is, uh, I really like the ultra high density. Uh, at the eight by 10 spacing, I feel that it, it's, it's a little bit too tight uh, it's because uh, this year I noticed a lot more uh, scale on the fruit as well as mealy bug maybe maybe it's not significant maybe five percent of the crop was in, infected and you know once they get scale or mealy bugs on them they cause little spots on them which make them unmarketable so <clears throat> I think that Perhaps in the between rows is too tight at, at, at 10 feet. As you can see, there's still a gap between the rows, but I can get my zero turn more in these rows easily, just not a tractor, right? And so if I, wa if I wanted to bring a tractor in there, it would have to be a pretty small tractor, mini tractor, or a really expensive orchard tractor, right? If we do a narrow tractor to get them within these rows. So if the goal... With, uh, with the mango orchard is to do everything by hand, which originally that was the intent of this, that if you was going to do everything by hand, this this style was uh, meant for that. And, and, and it's true. Like, if you're not going to use a tractor in between the rows, and I think the spacing would be all right. You just have to thin out the canopy a little bit more to encourage more sunlight and, and, uh, and airflow throughout the canopy. But in Hawaii, uh, if you want to get past a certain size, this is if you have one, two acres. But if you're going to go any bigger, five, 10, 20 acres, even that is pretty small. But as you get bigger, we, we don't have the labor force in Hawaii to, to be able to, that you can be able to rely on to do stuff like pruning and orchard ma maintenance right so everything that can be mechanized needs to be mechanized and with that uh i think to do high density we can still need to be able to get a tractor in between the rows and if you can mechanize pruning any kind of application of chemicals that is all going to be done using a tractor so 10 feet is too narrow and now I've widened out my rows to 20 feet. So I, my most recent high density field was planted at 10 feet by 20 feet. The reason I went 10 feet by eight feet was just, it saves me a couple more trees because that is also one of the downsides of the ultra high density is just the sheer amount of trees that you need. In Hawaii, we don't have commercial nurseries that'll, that'll sell you cheap trees, right? All of the cheapest tree you can get is, is I don't even know, $40. Uh, maybe if you had a really big order, you could get it down to $30, but I don't even think you would get it down to 30 per tree. Ah, 